All right, so in this video, I'll show you how to use all of the controls that are available on the timeline. So to start with, we have the generate all button um, here. And if you press on generate all, that's just gonna go ahead and generate everything that has this red dot, which means that there's new text to generate or a new voice, uh, one of the two. Um, so if you press on generate all, rather than having to go and press generate, 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 it's just gonna go ahead and generate all of them. So this is what this does. Uh, this is easy, um, zoom in, zoom out, and then we have this to minimize the timeline if you just wanna work on the script. Um, let's expand it and uh, go ahead and check these, these options out. So first thing, quite easy, if you want to just throw away a, um, if you don't like a particular clip and you wanna throw it out, either press backspace or press the delete button from here. Um, a few other things we've spoken before in previous videos about volumes. Um, let's speak about that again. You can see that the volume of this particular uh, a music clip is at 5%. You can control that by setting it all the way up to 100. And, um, you can play around. And we also have the fade in and fade out options. Uh, in this particular one, we have fade in for two, uh, for a couple of, for two seconds. And you can control that from here. Uh, let's remove the fade in and I'll show you why in just a sec. Um, so maybe what we want to do here is we want to, and this is a question that we get often, you want to have start with music loud. And then when the voice comes in, you want the music to, to lower, uh, to, to be, to just go on the background. And the way that you can do that is um, you can split the music track um, right when the, like just maybe right or right after the, the voice starts. And um, you can split by pressing the split button. And this just, splits it out so you you can have different volume controls across these two clips now um and we can start the volume of this one being um you know quite loud maybe uh 40 percent is good and then apply a fade out of this for about two seconds should work for this one um and what we want to do for the next one is we want to have the volume to be set at quite low like maybe three percent so that it can just play on the background um, and then just to, uh, you know, just to highlight the, the difference here, we want to do, do something very similar at the end. Uh, so let's just go ahead and clip that here again. Um, in this case, we would want to have the music here to be loud. So let's say that we want that to go back to 40 and um, then have a, uh, uh, and then potentially, um, yeah, the, the, the other one doesn't matter. You, the, we don't need any fade in and fade out in this one, but what we do need is a fade in for this one uh, so that, you know, we can slowly climb back up rather than go directly there. All right, so this is, we, I just want to show you how to work with split and uh, volume. Let's uh, check it out. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Anna, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic, the origins of Christopher Columbus. Joining me is our guest expert, Adrian. Welcome, Adrian. All right, so this is how you can, you know, lower it down, start high, lower it down, and then uh, increase, the, increase the, that volume again. Now, you might have noticed while um, Anna was speaking, I controlled the volume from here. This is a different volume control, one that actually controls all of the uh, track altogether. So all every clip it can be controlled by just one button if you want to mute the whole clip you can do that and you can increase the volume uh you can decrease the volume directly from here just so you know how these two interact um if this is at 40 percent and this is at say at like 10 percent, these two are multiplied so it's not as if like this has like the ultimate power they, they get multiplied so it's going to be like 40 percent times 10 percent basically for for these two uh so this is how this works if it's muted of course it's not the zero times anything is going to be zero. So that's why this is going to be completely off. Um, apart from that, just wanted to show you how to interact with speed as well. You can increase the speed of, um, of, of Jen or uh, Anna, uh, Anna the, the hostess. And the way that you can do that is by just uh, increasing the speed from here. That's not going to change her pitch. It's only going to change the tempo. So let's check it out. Let me mute the other stuff. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Anna. And today, so obviously too fast. Um, and just as a shortcut for you to know, if you hold down uh, shift and uh, move this around, it's going to um, it's going to speed this up uh, or sorry, slow it down, affect the speed is what I mean. So, you know, I've now slowed it down quite a lot. And if we go back to speed, you'll see that it's actually down to 0 0.97. 
Now, again, um, making aware that you need to hold down shift to do this. You can see that it also gets highlighted holding down shift because if you don't hold down shift and you just move this, you're just going to crop her voice. Um, so it's now going to be a lot less. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Anna. And today we're diving into a fascinating topic. Right. So I just clipped it at topic, right? With, there was a lot more that we skipped. So uh, yeah, if you control this, um, it just clips it. If you hold down shift, it speeds it up. Um, then finally, just a, a couple of small things here. If you press on duplicate, of course, it's just going to go ahead um, and duplicate this. So let's just go ahead and do it for, oh, sorry about that. I split, I didn't mean to, to split for this one. If you go ahead and press duplicate, uh, you're going to get another version of this that's identical. Um, let's remove it again by pressing backspace. And uh, finally, something that can be really, really useful is if you want to have very consistent, if it's just one speaker and you want to have very consistent uh, pauses in between, what you can do is you can highlight everything. And by the way, this is how you can highlight multiple clips and apply any of the voice controls on them. But you can highlight many. And then if you press on end pause, it's going to control the pauses between each clip. So if you go down to... Uh, 0.8 seconds, you can see that now it's consistent break between each one. And this can help quite a lot. So uh, this is uh, another, this is one way that you can do this. Um, and uh, finally, if you want to download something, you can just download one individual clip. I'll just press on download and you, um, you got that. So I think that's uh, most of the stuff that I wanted to cover. If there's any questions, again, always feel free to just, um, uh, to just visit us at the chat bubble and let us know. Um, and then in the next video, I'll show you how you can download all of the clip that you produced by pressing export and showing you what other options are available. Thank you. Bye.